What is up everybody and welcome to FLW videos in today's episode we have some exciting information to cover and it's all centered around the September community day being the Pokemon Samurott. So Samurott is going to have the exclusive move of Hydro Cannon and because it was already announced by Pokemon Go we're not going to do a pre-dive and jump right into the deep dive and take a look at this Pokemon from the water typing on the raid side as well as the PvP side to see just how good is Samurott and something interesting that's also going on as a little bit of a side tangent is that Samurott is getting a new move that's going to be added to its move pool permanently but it's going to be after community day so we are going to discuss that as well also your boy got a new camera so you know he's looking good if you do enjoy this episode make sure to turn that like button shiny and of course subscribe if you want to stay up to date on all pokemon go news but without further ado let's go ahead and get into the video So let's go ahead and take a look at some details for this community day. First things first, we've got the shiny Oshawott family. So if I were to pick one of my favorites, I feel like Dewat looks incredible, but you're gonna definitely have to let me know which one of the three is your favorite in the comment section below. That's actually the first question of the day or first engagement of the day, if you wanna look at it that way. So we already mentioned the move Hydro Cannon being announced for the community day, but something kind of interesting is that Niantic also mentioned that Samurott is going to have an expansion of its moveset beyond just Hydro Cannon, but it is also going to end up getting the move Razor Shell permanently added in to its moveset, of course, moving forward. So that means that anytime, like after Community Day, you'll be able to go over to the move Razor Shell. But it's kind of an odd thing, at least in my opinion, because we have a Community Day move of Hydro Cannon, and Hydro Cannon is one of the best, the best water type moves. So to get uh, another water type move uh, added to its move pool feels kind of odd. I mean, if if you're going to expand a move pool, either try to get a completely different type or come up with a better move. And it's, of course, not going to be able to beat Hydro Cannon. So kind of a weird move, but let, let me know what you think about that in the comments section below. We will also talk about that, but like I said before, it's not going to beat Hydro Cannon. So it's going to be interesting to see what ends up happening with that. So anyways, we can go ahead and move into the stats. We've got the Pokemon Samurott. And Samurott is a pure water type Pokemon generation five starter, has an overall stat ranking of 161st in Pokemon Go. Its best stat is its stamina at 98th rank. So it only has one stat in the top 100 in Pokemon Go. Its stamina stat is 216. And then it's followed by its attack stat ranked at 203. And the attack stat is 212. A little bit on the lower end, but keep in mind, we also have to take a look at the relative ranking for the water type. The only real red flag is the defense. And as you can see, the defense is ranked at 351st with a defense stat of 157. But because the stamina stat is so good, I feel like they somewhat counterbalance each other. So Samurott will not completely act like a glass cannon. So if we go ahead and take a look at Samurott versus the water type Pokemon, out of 126 water type Pokemon in Pokemon Go, Samurott has the 18th best stats overall, and when you take a look at it, basically the stamina and the attack stat are very close in rank, 18th for stamina, 19th for attack, and then of course the defense ends up being a little bit on the lower end, but it's still more than some of those other water types. That's probably because of pre-evolutions, because there are just so many water types in Pokemon Go, but that's at least worth mentioning. And of course, we can go ahead and dive into the moveset. So we're taking a look at the movesets, at least here, outside of Hydro Cannon and outside of Razor Shell. So that's just a little bit of a disclaimer. It just hasn't been updated on uh, Pokemon uh, or Go Press yet. So we do have the move Waterfall, and we are for sure going to be using that when we head into the raid side. Fury Cutter could be interesting for PvP. We have the move Hydro Pump, but that's going to get outclassed by Hydro Cannon. And then finally, we have Blizzard and Megahorn. Megahorn could be interesting, but like I said before, we'll talk about the move sets, of course, including Hydro Cannon. We know Hydro Cannon is going to be the option to use for the PvP side as well as the raid side. So let's go ahead and dive into an actual raid for this Pokemon and take a look at the performance. So the first thing that we can do is go ahead and take a look versus a Mega Camerupt and take a look at what is currently the best options from that water typing. We've got some Megas in there. We've got some Shadows bringing up that top line. And then the first normal Pokemon that we have here is Kyogre. And Kyogre only took over Kingler spot just because Kyogre ended up getting Surf a year or two ago. So Kingler with Crab Hammer, surprisingly good. Uh, this Pokemon just really surprises a lot of people. 
And then the first starter that we can see beyond just the shadow variation is the regular Swampert with a time to win of 439. So let's go ahead and see how the Pokemon Samurai ends up doing. It ends up having a time to win of 442, which would end up putting it in the eighth position and just behind Swampert. And not only just behind Swampert, it ends up fainting a little bit more, but roughly speaking, it ends up being the second best water type starter attacker on the raid side. So that could be fun. And for me personally, getting out there, catching a level 30 plus, potentially level 35, if of course it is weather boosted, that could be just a fun Pokemon to play with and you don't even necessarily have to make any investment whatsoever. So at least in that regard, it can be a great budget option, of course, from the water typing. So if we go ahead and move beyond it, I am excited about Samurott for that. It is a solid budget option. Of course, it's not in like the top options, but just such a great Pokemon from that budget perspective that I mentioned earlier. So let's go ahead and move into PvP and have a little bit of a discussion. So PV Poke has not updated the website for the move Hydro Cannon or Razor Shell because Razor Shell actually doesn't have its stats in just yet. So it's a little bit of a toss up, but what we do know is because Hydro Cannon is such a dominant move, the odds of the move like Razor Shell being better than it is extremely slim to none. I'm gonna go ahead and say it's not gonna be better than Hydro Cannon. So beyond that, the assessment on PV Poke's behalf is saying that Samurott is overshadowed, unfortunately, by some other water type attackers in uh, PVP that you're familiar with, such as Swampert, and then of course another Pokemon like Politoed. When you're using a Politoed and you have the move Weather Ball, I mean, you can just get that move off so quick. It's really competing against those starter Pokemon, and of course Swampert is a little bit more unique because it picks up that ground typing, so it only ends up being weak to the grass typing because of that. So we've got a lot going on here. Samura is going to probably be a fun option to use. And as we can see in the move set, it ends up being recommended to go with Fury Cutter, which is the bug type move, followed by Blizzard as well as Hydro Cannon. So there really doesn't seem to be a place where Razor Shell can kind of slot in there. Blizzard seems to make more sense to give a little bit of coverage, especially against some of those grass type Pokemon if you're in like the Ultra League, for example, versus something like a Venusaur. So anyways, what do I think about Samurott? I think it is a great Pokemon to, of course, get out there and go for the community day, especially if you are looking for a budget option. Very excited about that. Is it worth unlocking a secondary charge move? Well, if you're using it for PvP, absolutely. And what makes this so much easier of a decision is the fact that it only costs 10,000 Stardust to unlock a secondary charge move. So honestly, not that big of an investment. This is one of those Pokemon that just ends up working out great, especially if you're not able to get out there and grind really hard. This Pokemon is relatively cheap. It's got a low barrier to entry, and it's going to be a great Pokemon, especially for new players in Pokemon Go. But anyways, I would love to know what you think about Samurott in the comment section below. Are you excited about it to finally get back to the starters? Anything and everything, let me know in the comment section below. But of course, I gotta give a huge shout out to the supporters over at Patreon. Thank you so much. And if you want to join the exclusive Discord server where we talk about Pokemon Go, coordinate for raids, and so much more, make sure to check out that Patreon link in the description below. And I will see you next time.